Hello everyone, today we're going to be installing Tyke Pro and deploying that onto AWS EKS in a Kubernetes cluster. And we're going to be serving our dashboard and gateway as ingress controllers. And we're going to be using Nginx's ingress controller. You can also use Tyke Operator, which is an open source and free to use component of Tyke um, that offers an ingress controller for your Kubernetes cluster and it'll dynamically manage your API definition resources for you as per the uh, ingress spec. And so this could be a replacement for what we're going to be using, which is Nginx's ingress controller. So hopefully that sounds fun. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, firstly, what we want to do is create that cluster in AWS EKS. And if I go into Feroz's type cluster here, I can see the, uh, the node group that I created as well. And so I created two nodes that are going to serve um, for each of our services in our cluster here. So after we connect our CLI to our uh, cluster on EKS, what we're going to do is let's quickly test that out. Go and hit kubectl, get nodes. Perfect. And as we see here, we get some information back letting us know that X amount of nodes in our cluster are created. So now let's go ahead and get started with installing Tyke in our cluster. So what you want to do first is localize the Tyke Helm charts. And so essentially what you'll be getting is the Tyke Helm chart right here. And I'll put the uh, GitHub repository in the description below. And as soon as you get that, we're going to hit a uh, quick Helm repo update to make sure that our repository is up to date because I already have it installed here. And then what we want to do is create the namespace that we're going to be installing all of our Tyke components into. So kubectl, create namespace, and we'll call it Tyke. Perfect. So now that our namespace is created, uh, if I go and do kubectl get namespace, we should see our type namespace there, perfect. And now, just like we said, everything that we're gonna be installing is gonna go into this type namespace. So uh, firstly, before we install type pro, we do need to install the different dependencies, so Mongo and Redis. So uh, I'll put in here, install Redis type helm, simple Redis in our namespace type. And essentially what I'm doing here is uh, I'm doing a Helm, Helm install and the dependency found in that repository, which is local to uh, where I am in uh, this terminal, is going to be in here and I'm installing that, installing that in our type namespace. And we'll do the exact same for Mongo. Oops. Install Mongo from type Helm, simple MongoDB in our type namespace. And that'll just take a second. Perfect. Should be good to go. And now that we have our dependencies installed, uh, we're almost ready to install Tyke Pro. But first, we need to set some custom values in our values.yaml file. Now, we don't currently have a values.yaml file. Uh, it is in our, in our, uh, our repository, in our, in our Helm chart. So we're going to go ahead and get that. We'll do a Helm show values, Tyke Helm slash Tyke Pro. We'll pipe that into the values.yaml file again relative to the directory that we're in in our shell. So if I actually open up where I in, I'm in, I'm here in my shell in the dev, uh, as you see the dev uh, repository, the folder. Um, and there's the values that YAML file that I just piped out to this folder. So we're going to open this with our favorite editor, mine sublime text. And now we need to set some custom values here in our configuration file. So uh, the first thing that we want to do is grab a license key for our installation of Tyke Pro, and we're going to input that right here. So let's go and grab my license key. Perfect. And I'll go and paste that right in there. Awesome. And now there's a couple more values that we have to set here. So firstly, um, in our dashboard definition here, we want to um, copy the host name that Tyke provided for us for this uh, for the dashboard and put that in the same host name that we have in our ingress definition for the dashboard. And so we see here uh, we have hosts um, and the host that the uh, values here is chart dash example dot local. We're going to change that to what we currently have provided from Tyke as well as we're going to set this to true to enable an ingress for our service. 
and then we'll remove the annotation here and make sure to annotate our ingress appropriately and we'll be using the nginx ingress and that's it for the dashboard we're going to do the exact same thing for the gateway so if we just go down a bit here's the gateway we'll take the host name and map it to our ingress host here perfect and we'll set our ingress to true and now that we've enabled our ingress we'll tell it uh, which ingress controller we're going to be using which is the nginx ingress controller and just a quick uh, heads up we haven't actually installed this yet that's perfectly fine we'll get to that in just a second so after we've enabled the ingress uh, map the host and um, pretty much everything else yeah enable the ingress that's pretty much it uh, we're now ready to go ahead and save this file we'll close that perfect and if we go into our shell again let's go ahead and install the helm chart for the ingress controller so again i'll put these commands in the description below it's pretty simple we'll do a helm repo add engine x stable and we'll give it the url from where we're going to be getting this ingress controller from perfect and it'll tell me now that i already have this installed and there it is so what i'm going to do is make sure i just update this again perfect and we see now that we have the most up-to-date um, ingress controller uh, chart repository now on our uh, type namespace. Perfect. So uh, what we're going to do now is install the actual ingress controller in our namespace directly. So um, what we did here was we installed it in, um, in Helm. And now we're going to put that ingress controller in our type namespace. So helm install we'll give that ingress controller a name call it my release and then nginx stable and we'll give it the exact ingress name perfect and we'll make sure that we install that in our tyke repository and that looks all good yes it does awesome now that'll take a second and we're almost done here so we have our dependencies installed uh there's the redis there's the mongo We've edited the values.yaml file to annotate our ingresses appropriately. And lastly, all we have to do now that the ingress controller is installed in our namespace is go ahead and install Tech Pro. So what we'll do is helm install exactly what we've already done with the uh, dependencies. Helm install Tech Pro. And then we'll give it the actual source from where we're installing it from, which is tyke helm slash tyke pro and we'll let it know that we're going to be using the values.yaml file that we just configured and let's go ahead and set some flags as well just to make sure that we see kind of what's going on as this is getting installed in our type namespace perfect and so now that we have our dependencies installed ingress controller is good to go uh type pro as well as getting configured this will take uh, a couple of seconds here uh, but we're pretty much ready to go now so what we'll see in a second is we'll run a command just to make sure that um, we see our functioning ingresses in our namespace. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um, you just got to make sure that you annotate everything correctly. And there's, of course, a lot more configuration that you can do in this uh, values.yaml file um, for now. Uh, type Pro is fully installed and ready to go. So let's go ahead and do kubectl get ingresses and we'll check the ingresses in our type namespace perfect so we'll just go ahead and make that a little bit bigger and bring it up a bit more so we'll see now that our dashboard and our gateway are being served at these addresses and they're being served as ingresses awesome so now at this point we have a fresh installation of type pro installed in our kubernetes cluster so we can see here that we have our dashboard and gateway running as ingresses and this cluster is also connected to aws uh, eks so it's configured ready to go it's deployed in the cloud uh, we can actually go ahead and test this now uh, locally so let's go ahead and do that um, if i take this address that amazon created for us and do a quick ping and then I want this IP address here, and this is gonna be the same IP for the gateway and dashboard, at least in my case. 
um, do confirm on your end. And we're going to go ahead and do a sudo vim to our host file. If we go down, we'll paste that IP address here. And what we also want is, oops, is to go to our values.yaml file and grab that host name that we added for each of our dashboard and gateway. So uh, here's the dashboard. We'll do that and also take the space with it just to put that in there. Perfect. And then we'll do the exact same thing and get that gateway. Where is that gateway? Here's the gateway and I believe the host name is right here. Awesome. I'll paste that there. So essentially what we're doing here is we're taking that IP address followed by the host name um, to let Tyke know what host name to map our ingress controller to and ultimately expose our servers. So uh, with that being done, ready to go, let's go ahead and do colon WQ to save changes. I'll go and open up a new tab here. Awesome. And we'll do HTTP slash slash uh, tyke dashboard local and there it is and hopefully in a few seconds here i uh, will get to the dashboard and there it is letting us know that uh, we're good to go and everything is working perfectly as expected i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much we'll see you guys in the next one